Hello friends. I am making this video to share some of the concerns regarding process safety and general safety when a manufacturing facility, a process unit is restarted after a significant amount of time. I mean a long shutdown. As all of you are aware, in India, many of the manufacturing facilities were shut off for more than 30 days or so and now one by one they are in the process of restarting their manufacturing processes. In this context, I would like to share some of my concerns, some of my insights on process safety as well as general safety which are very imperative for a manufacturing industry which is restarted after a long shutdown. These are general points. Most of them are mostly applicable to any kind of manufacturing facilities. But still, your industry, your manufacturing process may need some extra precautions other than which I am already sharing in this video. The first point would be to check the operation and condition of all the rotary equipments like pumps, centrifuges, gearboxes, agitators, etc. Because these are the equipments which are in stationary conditions for more than 30 days or so. So it's likely that they might be jammed. So the first point, the first important point would be to take care and to ensure the rotation, the freeness of all these rotary equipments. So it will be a very good idea to make a list of all the rotary equipments in the industry and to one by one check the operability and the freeness of all rotary equipments. The second point is about process safety due to storage of chemical. In small companies which operate into batches, it is possible that some amount of chemical, intermediate, raw material or even finished product is still in stored condition in either an equipment or a tank or a vessel or even drums and these chemicals are in the same condition for last 30 days or more than that in this condition it is possible that these chemicals have deteriorated or have generated some obnoxious some hazardous chemicals during this time so when we are operating, when we are restarting our operations after a long shutdown and if we don't clean these equipments, it may create some big hazards during startup. So the second most important point would be to clean the remains, the remains of such chemicals from all such containments. It could be process piping, it could be reaction vessels, it could be tanks, storage vessels etc. The third point is about the connections which are used for earthing and bonding. Friends, industry is very shut down for more than 30 days and the earthing bonding connections are in the same condition and the condition in industry, the environment and industry as you know is corrosive. So it is likely that these bondings, these connections may have loosened out and the continuity of earthing and bonding might not be intact. So in this condition, it would be a good idea to check the continuity of earthing and bonding in all our equipment, pipes and everything. And this is more imperative for the industries which are using solvents which may produce, which may create, which may generate static electricity during handling particularly API and pharma industry. The next important thing would be to check the integrity and operability of all our equipments and systems which are useful for emergency response like fire detection system, like firefighting system, sprinkler system, hydrant network, its pumps, everything. So it's very imperative to check all these equipments and systems are working properly before we actually start the process. And without fail, don't forget to check 
the accessibility and operability of all emergency exits. And the last but not the least is to check the housekeeping. It seems very negligible, minor and very insignificant point when it comes to process safety of a, a manufacturing facility. But friends, in our experience we have seen that many mishaps and many big accidents has happened due to poor housekeeping only. So when we are restarting our operational facility after a long time, it's possible that many of our accesses, egresses and exit routes are not in a good condition. So it's imperative to check housekeeping of the entire facility, all our operational floors and the storage places for raw material, finished goods, exit routes, etc. Friends, these are some of the points which came to my mind and uh, I thought it would be a good idea to share this with all of you. And you can make your own customized points which are more applicable to your industry and to make a checklist, to make an operational plan, to make a preparedness plan before you actually start the normal operation of your process. Friends, it will be always a good idea to follow the formal protocol and procedure of what is called PSSR, that is Pre-Startup Safety Review. It's a, a procedure and a checklist which gives you a, a thorough checklist of all the points which are imperative to check with respect to safety, with respect to operability, with respect to maintainability before you actually start the operational plan. I hope this video has given you some of the very useful insights about some operational things, some checkpoints before you actually start the manufacturing process. Stay safe. Goodbye.